What's going on ERB sports fans? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to go over a PSA reveal. But before we get started on that, I wanted to announce the winner of the 500 subscriber giveaway. Now, many of you know, I ran a giveaway that I only really mentioned in one video about a month ago when we were headed towards 500 subscribers. But uh, I went ahead and did a drawing uh, via random.org and I have a winner to announce for that particular card. Now, I know it's not much, but I did want to give the card away nevertheless. So this is the card that we are giving away. It is a SGC7 that I submitted on the $9 tier, Michael Harris. Now, it's funny. I actually had a Michael Harris in this order, and that is a completely different story than this card. So uh, anyway, if uh, you want this card, the person that is the winner is a subscriber of mine that goes by MS Cards. Looks like he's a Cub fan, Cubs fan with about 300 subscribers. Hit me up in the chat. Let me know your email address. We can exchange information, and I will go ahead and get this card sent out to you as soon as possible. Thank you again for subscribing. I really appreciate it. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers, so we are not going to stop one bit. We are going to keep going, and in this PSA reveal, we've got 20 cards under the $16 tier, which was the special from 2022-2023. I have one more order that is already at PSA. It arrived today. That is going to take a little bit of time to get back. I have a couple other cards in there that I submitted under the regular tier for $25 a card, so we'll see how that one turns out. And now that they're running another special, I think there's a bunch of cards that I think would qualify for that that I was a little bit on the fence on, given that we have a 20-card target and it kind of includes everything. I'm going to go ahead and include the 2022-2023 cards from the football and basketball sets that I have, as well as all the other cards that I had set aside from 2021 and prior, including some from that update case I ripped. So yeah. Look for that preview video to come up. I'm going to be sorting some of those cards this weekend, but let's go ahead and get into this. I'll try to crank this out too, uh, you know, not too long, but overall, this submission had its fair share of ups and downs. I would say this is kind of on the bad side, but I think I'll still do okay. And there's some cool cards in here. So first things first, we have got a PC card, none other than De'Aaron Fox, Monopoly Black, I pulled this out of the game board box. <laughs> Unfortunately, this card got an eight. I thought for sure it would be a nine at the worst. I mean, centering looked okay on it, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what PSA saw that I didn't see. I mean, it looked like all the corners were sharp. The centering looked okay. There might have been some surface issues. I have no idea. There's a lot going on on this card, but uh, you know, overall, I thought the card was pretty solid. And De'Aaron Fox is my guy, so yeah, I'll just keep it. It is what it is. PSA 8. That's an 8, and 8s you kind of want to forget about. But we got another 8. Yeah, unfortunately, the Stephen Kwan Gold got an 8. There was a little bit of, I don't know, ever so slight white on that corner. Centering looked pretty good on this one. I don't know why this didn't get at least a 9. But it got a near mint 8, and uh, you win some, you lose some. So in this order, we got a couple of 8s which we didn't get in the last order, but we got in the first order that we ever submitted to PSA. So it is what it is. Those are the only two eights. Everything else is nines and tens, but the ratio of 10 to nine is a little less than I'd like. All right, so next one up, we got Chet Holmgren. Hopefully he comes back from injury for the Oklahoma City Thunder. We got a nine on this Monopoly. Again, I, I, this was a reach for me. I was trying to submit 20 cards and I was looking for some rookies to submit under the basketball product. So I grabbed this one and said, sure, why not? Um, centering was, o it was okay. Um, but yeah, it didn't get a 10, so whatever. Next, we got an Ichiro short print. Uh, got a nine as well. I like this card centering wise. I mean, surface wise, it didn't have any issues, but it wasn't like pristine or anything like that. So maybe they dinged me on that. But overall, I thought it was still a cool card. And there's an Ichiro collector out there who will want that card next we got a simon muziotti auto this one was out of 99 kind of nine dang it you know it just you win some you lose some um there was a little bit of surface issues here that i thought were ever so slight 
Um, I don't know if that's what they dinged me on, but they gave me a nine on this card. Still a cool looking card. Um, yeah, we got some more Phillies cards coming up. Next, we got Gunnar Henderson on the Meyer Purple. Got a nine. Now, I'm not dissatisfied with a nine on this one because these are tough grades anyway. If you guys don't know Meyer Purples, these are loose in the pack uh, in that little uh, blister pack. They're loose in the back of the pack. So I I was hoping it would get a 10, but um, yeah, I'll take a nine. I, I'm, I'm not dissatisfied with a nine one bit on this card. I'm going to hang on to that one and hope that he starts playing pretty well and maybe he'll have a really good sophomore season. Next, we got a wave card. This was of Nick Lodolo. Pitcher for the Reds. I thought the card looked really good. Great eye appeal. The waves are very hard to hit, um, and it was a rookie, so I went ahead and sent that in. It unfortunately got a 9. Uh, it's a cool card. It really is a cool card. Uh, but there's probably a... a Reds collector out there who will want that card. I'll probably hang on to it for a bit, but eventually move off of it. Next, we got another Stadium Club Chrome. You're going to notice the theme in this one. I'll do a count at the end. Uh, actually, I'll try and separate those. So Stadium Club Chromes. There we go. All right, so got some nines. Jeremy Pena on the X Fractor. This also got a nine, unfortunately. Maybe they ding me on centering. I, I really don't know. I mean, overall, this card looked pretty good. Uh, I looked at it under white light, trying to see if there was any scratches. I didn't notice anything. I mean, I thought the card looked pretty good, but unfortunately, yeah, I got a nine. Next, we got a wave. This was one I opened on the channel. Actually, I opened most of these on the channel. Uh, yeah, this one was disappointing. I thought for sure this one would get a 10 because I thought, man, this card looks so clean. I'm going to confidently send that one in. Bobby Witt Jr. Wave uh, Team of the Future insert, and it got a 9. So that really stinks. Next, we got a Meyer Purple of Wander Franco. Now, he's playing amazing this year. Wander Franco could definitely win. And, it, well, I guess if it wasn't for Shohei Otani, he could fight for AL MVP. He's definitely up there in war. The last time I checked, he was leading the major leagues in war. I thought this one had a really decent shot at 10. At worst, it'd be a 9. And Meyer Purples are tough grades, so I figured, eh, I'll send it in. And yeah, it got a 9. So it is what it is. Next, we got a Juan Soto off to a very slow start this year. Picking it up a little bit as of late. Another X Fractor. These are tough grades. Uh, it unfortunately also got a 9. Yeah, that's 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 a tough one to swallow. That is a tough one to swallow. These are all, if you guys can't tell, these are all Stadium Club Chrome so far, and every single one of these got a 9, and I get any 10s. So keep that in mind when you're sending stuff in and hoping. I mean, I saw people with great results. So next, we got a Spencer Torkelson on the HFA. I'm showing you the back of the card because the back of the card looked really solid. I mean, I noticed a little bit on the corners here. I said nine at worst, and it got a nine. So again, I'm not dissatisfied in that. The The pop report on this was crazy. I believe between the nines and tens, there's a total of 120 cards that have been sent in total. There are 13 tens, and the rest are nines. There are 100 and... I forget what it is. 100 and... No, actually, 125 cards have been submitted. So 13 tens and 112 nines... <laughs> That's literally like less than 10%, isn't it? it it's darn near 10%. So you're very, very rarely going to get a 10 on this card. Um, even a 9 is a solid grade. And uh, I almost have the trio of... Uh, actually, I almost have the uh, quadrifecta of uh, update series HFAs. I've got the Julio. I don't have the Bobby, but I've got the Seiya Suzuki and I got the Julio. So... Or, and, and Spencer Trokelson. So I'm only missing the Bobby Witten, and I would have literally the entire good rookie class of uh, HFAs, and there's a few others in there. But maybe I should just try and collect the rainbow. Try and collect all of them, because I think I'm going to get there eventually anyway. So that one's not bad. Uh, next, we got Julio Rodriguez. This is the Meyer Purple rookie debut. Again, these are tough grades. Centering, I appeal on this one look really solid. I said it was a 9 at worst. And uh, Meyer Purples, if you can get a 9, a 9 is kind of like a 10. A 10 is a unicorn. And uh, right now, the pop on this one, believe it or not, I don't know if it's just because people aren't sending it in, but the pop on this card in a 9 is 4. Okay? 
keep that in mind because you look at like the purple refractor of this card and I think the pop is like over 200. So this is a very, very hard to come by card unless people are just not sending it in. It's one or the other. But uh, I went ahead and sent it in because I knew it would have a nine at the very least. And uh, yeah, took a chance on that one, got a nine. So yeah, all these are nines so far. We're going to get into the tens in a little bit. But uh, some of those are uh, the Meyer purples, so I'm not that dissatisfied. Uh, let's see, we got like seven or eight cards to go. Seven? You think these are all tens. Next, Julio Rodriguez, Bowman, this is the best refractor. Um, I already sold this card on eBay, listed it, buy it now, and it's sold this afternoon. Um, this is one, believe it or not, step in the box, Brett and I are friends, and uh, I went to the Oak Creek card show in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. He got me a deal for a lot of cards. This and another card coming up were both in the lot that he got from Mellow Cards. And uh, Mello, you sold those cards for way too cheap. <laughs> uh, it got a 10, uh, as did the other one. So we'll see that in a bit. But uh, Julio Rodriguez Refractor on the Bowman's Best got a 10. And like I said, I already sold that one. Bobby Wood Jr. on the uh, Team of the Future regular Refractor uh, got a 10. I was hoping for a 10 on the Wave, but I got a 10 on the base one. So, yep, again, it is what it is. Uh, this next one, I think I'm probably going to sell this, but this would be a good one for the PC because I'm a Brewers fan. I sent in a Jackson Chorio Bowman Chrome base card. I know base cards, you really shouldn't send those in. They say friends shouldn't let send, friends send in base cards. But I wanted to send one of my Jackson Chorios in just to see what it would get because I had a feeling like one of these had a shot at a 10. So yeah, sent this one. I'm going to sell this card. Um, I don't think I'm going to hold on to that one. All right, the next four are probably the biggest cards in the lot, I think, give or take. Yeah, the, these are probably the biggest cards. Again, this was kind of a lower-end order. I don't think I had any bangers in here that I would have said, oh, my gosh, that's like a $300 card. I really don't. Um, the, the most I can probably get out of any of these cards is about $100, $125, uh, and if I'm lucky. So next, Bryson Stott. We had a, a green foil numbered out of $4.99. This one I pulled on the break that Brett and I were doing the box battle. So, Brett, I think I won that one. <laughs> I pulled the uh, Bryson Stott that somebody scoffed at on the time and said it was a $5 card. Well, I don't know what it'll go for, but uh, now it's a 10. So, yeah, I won that box battle night, even though my record's still losing. So, we got to get back to doing more box battles with Brett. All right, next one was a Mellow card special again. Mellow had this one in the Brett lot that he sold him. And uh, Mojo 80, uh, I almost said 86. This is a 2023 silver pack, which was the 1980 throwback design. Michael Harris got a 10. So Mellow, you got a 10 that you sold Brett for. I got these cards, I think, for $2 a piece. So I got two 10s for two bucks a piece. Not bad. But I'm in for $16 on the grading, so yeah. All right, two cards to go, and uh, yeah, these aren't like super duper, but uh, next one, we got Albert Pujols. This is the last image of Albert Pujols ever in his career. Got a 10 on the gold out of 2022. It is numbered uh, 763 out of 2022. Um, again, I, I had a choice between he and the Stephen Kwan, and I was looking to send a couple golds in. I sent them both in. I thought they'd have both good shots at a 10. I would have taken a 10 gladly in uh, this card instead of this one, but uh, it is what it is. I got a 10 in the pool hole, so that one will be up for sale on my eBay store and uh, try and move off of that one. And last but not least, we got a sick color match. Peds card collection, eat your heart out, buddy. This one is a Pete Alonzo Logo Fractor 69 out of 150. Got a 10 on the sick color match logo fractor edition. Oh man, this card looks so beautiful. Great eye appeal, great color match. Love this card. Uh, unfortunately, to get my money back out of the order, I am going to have to try and move off of this card and hopefully this card, I don't know what it'll sell for. Right now I threw it up on my eBay store, 135 or best offer. I have no idea if I'm undershooting it, overshooting it. Uh, I, I would probably put the value of this card around $100. So, yeah. In a 10, sick, uh, almost said sick, you know what card. Sick as all get out. Um, 
Love this card. So probably my favorite card in the submission. And this was the one I grabbed last, believe it or not. I was like looking for card number 20. And uh, yeah, I grabbed this one and said, sure, go ahead and send it in. And uh, lo and behold, the Pete Alonzo Logo Fractor comes out being the very best card in the submission. So overall, we did okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to Logo, or um, not Logo Fractor, but let's go ahead and go back to Stadium Club. All right, so in this order, the Stadium Club cards I submitted, there were a total of six. Five of them got nines, and one of them got a 10. That's a little disappointing. I actually thought it would be the other way around. I thought we would get one nine and five tens because Brett was telling me that his friend uh, Mello, I think it was either Mello or somebody else, was sending in a Stadium Club. He was looking at some of the pop reports and the ratio of nine to 10 on Stadium Club Chrome this year was really solid. And uh, I was shocked that we didn't get more tens. Um, yeah, a little disappointing to see only um only a couple of so let's go ahead and sort this out but only a couple of uh actually just 110 on the stadium club chrome so anyway enough rambling there's our piles psa 10 we only got seven psa 9s we got 11 psa 8s one of which is for the pc we got two so this order was a little rough under the special. I don't know if this is a sign of things to come. I mean, I just submitted 20 cards again and have the same mixture of products. I've got, you know, mostly Stadium Club Chrome, a couple update cards, and uh, and that's about it. So I don't know, guys. This is kind of what I expected when I submitted these with regards to a special. It seems like PSA, when you submit it under the $19 tier, this is what you got. You would get 10s, 9s, everything else. You submit it under the special, and it's like the old switcheroo. There's your 10s, there's your 9s, and there's everything else. So that just seems like par for the course. I, I don't know why, but um, yeah. I don't know. Should I crack any of these cards? Should I try and resubmit them? I have no idea. I've got way too many 9s here some of which are Meyer Purples, so I'm just going to sell them. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Appreciate everybody's support. We are now at 500-plus subscribers. We are on our way to 1,000. Would love to be at 1,000 before the National. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Like I said, enjoy that Pete Alonso card one more time. The sick blue color match. Hope you guys like that one. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Good night, everybody.